Power Query can save a lot of time also for consolidation tasks. Imagine uh, there are several departments of your company or subsidiaries that uh, send you reports and your task is to combine all those tables into one final single report. Done? Good. Now what happens in the real world is that uh, numbers get corrected, reports updated, resent to you. Sometimes there are so many changes to make that uh, it's easier to all start all the consolidations from the very beginning. And one subsidiary is always late and you get report only just before your own deadline with uh, no time left for making proper changes. And then the whole thing repeats over and over again, annually, quarterly, monthly. It's a nightmare. What we want is that the con consolidation happens itself and we can uh, redirect our effort and time to more important tasks like actually analyzing that data. Let's imagine we have a small network of convenience stores and uh, we sell staples product that just products that customer uh, buys regularly, then impulse products that customer didn't want to buy but happened to, and then emergency products. And we happen to have subsidiaries here in Finland, in Sweden and in Italy. And now it's time when we expect the report, sales report from our subsidiaries and we already got reports from Finland and Sweden. Let's have a look inside. Uh, I remind you, it's a very, very simplified example. So here we have year, subsidiary, uh, product and total amount of sales. So what we want to do is uh, we want to build a consolidation that takes files from different subsidiaries into one and then also merges the file with a, a product type to overall consolidation. Let's make it happen. Let's create a new file. and call it, let's say, final report. And let's start building a query. Uh, now getting the data from the folder. We need to get the link, the folder path. Here's our two files and let's start transforming the data. Now, uh, here we have some information about the files. We don't need them. We only need this content. So right-click and uh, remove all other columns. Now, all the information that we need is hidden in there. So uh, what we need, we need to get it. And uh, let's create a new column for that. Add column, custom column. We can call it get data. Power Query uses a special Power Query formula language or M language. We don't have a purpose of learning that, but whenever you need some specific task that requires some coding in here, Google it. Uh, already many tricks are realized in there. So uh, here we're typing Excel dot workbook and then open in parentheses and content. Okay. Now we don't need this uh, table, this column anymore. Let's have a look inside. And still we have some information about the uh, file and here on the data column we have table that we actually need to get. Let's return back. Okay, so uh, for that we are expanding this and uh, we practically only need data column. Okay. Here are the tables and uh, now we can uh, expand it again. All the columns. Okay. But now you see we get the headers repeated in our rows. So uh, let's go one step back. And uh, for this purpose, uh, we uh, get again a custom column. Call it headers. And uh, here we need table dot promote headers, promote headers and this data. 
Okay. Okay. And now if we delete this one and expand this. Yep. We have all our data merged as we wanted. Now remember we wanted also to uh, merge this query with the one that gets uh, product types. So let's save it but uh, not load it to the Excel. Only create connection. Okay, and here's our reports. And now let's create a new query from file, this time from workbook. Here's our product classification. Table 1 is what we are looking for. Let's get transform data. And now what we want, we want to merge this table with reports. So let's create a new one, new query, and here combine and merge. And we want reports with product merged with the table 1. And here is the product name. Ignore privacy levels. And check in the uh, join type. So all from first. Yes, we want all there. Matching from the second. Yes. Okay. Now again, we got a new column with tables inside. Let's preview them. Uh -huh. It's all the three columns from the product classification table. And we want to expand them. And we only want to have classification. Okay. Here it is. And we can move it in here. So let's call it consolidation. And let's load it to the Excel. Now we have all our data and we can create a pivot table and pivot graph to work with it. Let's create a pivot chart to a new worksheet. And there we, for example, want to have our uh, sum of sales across different product classifications. And uh, we can also check different subsidiaries in here. And now let's see what happens if we add another file Another report now from now from Italy. Okay. And uh, first we need to update our query. Refresh this. Yes, we get our new data from Italians. And now we need to update our pivot. Unfortunately, Excel cannot update them both simultaneously. And now we have a thought subsidiary too. And here's our updated consolidation just in a couple of clicks. Now the next reporting period here, the year 2009, we can upload new files to the same folder and uh, we can introduce filter year now it's just one in there, but then we can filter out uh, years that we don't want to see, or we can compare our reports from different years. And of course, you can merge here as many tables as you wish, like uh, customer specifications, sales persons, project type, whatever, depending on what is your data. For this example, uh, we can, for instance, make a geography table dividing um, our countries to Scandinavia and Southern Europe, for example, and connect this table to the main query, same way that we link the product type. Using Power Query in this way would be useful for consolidation of any types of files. It could be HR analytics, investment programs, sales reports, whatever. And uh, the consolidation can be done across different departments or subsidiaries or across different years or reference periods. Practically something that before would require a couple of days, now takes only a couple of minutes.